friends, it's Miss Christina. It's almost the end of the day, and so that means it's almost time for bed. But what would bedtime be without a good bedtime story? Tune in each night, and I'm going to be reading you a bedtime story from one of my favorite books. It's called the It's All About Jesus Bible Storybook. Tonight, we're going to be reading about how God created the world. God created the world. In the beginning, nothing existed except for God. God spoke and created the heavens and the earth. When he first created the earth, it had no shape and total darkness covered the earth. The Spirit of God was there, hovering over the waters. God spoke. He said, let there be light. And what God said happened. Light was created. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. Evening came, and then morning came. That was the first day of creation. God spoke again. Let there be an expanse between the waters to separate them. What God said happened. He made a space between the water that was on the earth and the water above the earth. God called the expanse sky. Evening came and then morning came. That was the second day of creation. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear. What God said happened. God called the dry land earth, and he called the gathered waters seas. God spoke that it was good. Then God said, let the earth make plants and trees with fruits and seeds. What God said happened. Plants and trees grew, and God saw that it was good. Evening came, and then morning came. That was the third day of creation. Next, God placed lights in the sky. God created the sun to shine during the day and the moon and stars to shine at night. God gave us lights to provide light on the earth, to separate day from night, and to help us track time in days and years. God saw that it was good. Evening came and then morning came. That was the fourth day of creation. Next, God made the creatures that move and swim in the water. He made birds to flap their wings and soar across the sky. God saw that it was good. God told the animals to multiply and they filled the seas in the sky. Evening came and then morning came. That was the fifth day of creation. Then God made more animals, livestock, creatures that crawl, and wildlife to live on the earth. When God said it, it happened, and God saw that it was good. The Bible says that Jesus is Lord over all of creation. Everything was created by him and for him. The Son of God has always existed, and he holds everything together. Good night, friends. Love you.